I have a story full of ghosts of all sorts. And if a child gives the effect another turn of the screw, what do you say to two? The teacher was, by choice, a solitary young woman, come up to London in trepidation to answer in person an advertisement. Placed by one Lord Henry Wingrave, regarding his young nephew and niece. The gardener did not even introduce herself to the new au pair. She barely acknowledged her at all. The others in the room just assumed they'd already met. It's Owen. Thoughts on the new au pair? Oh, gossip. What? It's just Christian concern, Hannah. They're maybe a bit too pretty. How are they doing? Perfectly. Thank you. You're the coolest. <laughs> now, can you help me get this thing off? Why me? No, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> the, uh, the zipper. Right. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. for this? No. You just wait for me to come back. Cheers. I, I knew that you were coming back today, but no, no particular reason. Good night. The au pair was tired. She'd been tired for so long. Yet without even realising she was doing it, she found herself taking her own advice that she'd given to Miles. Gotta keep things proper boring, haven't we? She'd chosen someone to keep close to her that she could feel tired around. Got a little flat right above the boring little pub. Chosen someone who might help her burn away the shadows. Oh Oi! God. Dead boyfriend! Give it up, mate! It's over! Robbins, it's your day off. I promise. I don't need you to be my date to Owen's mum's funeral. <laughs> OK. The au pair could not remember the last time she'd slept this well. And she thought, perhaps she never had. One year became two. Three. Four. Five years would pass. At long last, there was peace. And that peace held for years. Danny, why is there a thing? You are my best friend. And I love my life. And I don't know how much time we have left. But however much it is, I want to spend it with you. And I know we can't technically get married, but I also don't really care. One day at a time is fine by me. As long as those days with you pop in, one day at a time is what we've got. had lurked indeed and the beast at its hour had sprung. If you can't feel anything, then I'll feel everything for the both of us. And she could not risk the most important thing, her most important person, not for one more day. The gardener said the words she'd heard those years ago. She willed it with everything she had. It's me. me. Us. Take me with you, she cried in her heart. Take me, drag me down like you did the others. But the lady in the lake was different now. The lady in the lake was different.
was also Danny. And Danny wouldn't. Danny would never. For the rest of her days, the gardener would gaze into reflections, hoping to see her face, her own lady in the lake. She'd leave a door open at night, just a crack, should she ever come back, waiting for her lover to return. But I think you set it up wrong just in the beginning. Is that so? Yeah. You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. Same thing, really. 